Marvel just released a trailer for its 2025 slate of TV shows coming to Disney+, Plus, and they look to be mostly geared towards kids, teenagers, and younger. So naturally, everybody's waiting to hear what a middle-aged guy has to say about it. Oh, and would you look at that? Here I am. Let's talk about it. First impression short, of course, for impression, is I thought this was a very well put together trailer. It did give me a little bit of hype looking at what's ahead. It's, it's not a bunch of like nonsense crap. I do think most of these shows are pretty safe and they're going to appeal to a lot of people. So let's go over them for a little bit. And while I do, if you wouldn't mind as you're listening, just hit the subscribe. It takes a second. It's free of charge. You can even hit the notification bell like all of these. Completely 100% free. <laughs> it's, it's quite a deal. <laughs> All right, in January of the 29th, I don't know why I said it like that, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is getting a show. It's cell shaded 3D. I'm not huge on this look, but I'm also not really big on that overall presentation, unless it's in Zelda Wind Waker, which was a fantastic game for the GameCube. I'm still waiting for them to re-release on Switch. Come on, Nintendo! I'm just not huge on this look. And they really didn't give us much to chew on in this trailer. But from what I have read, it's not part of the MCU canon. It's going to focus on Peter Parker's origins. How, ref how refreshing. Haven't seen that yet. And it's going to bring out some classic Spider-Man villains most people probably aren't even familiar with. The big one that was heavily pushed in this trailer was for Daredevil Born Again. And this one's going to be feeling out to March 4th release. If it can find its way there. <laughs> Subscribe for blind jokes. Now, what I bring to the table is a lot of knowledge, a lot of factoids, things that most people don't know. Um, one of which is going to be that this is called Daredevil Born Again because it's kind of a resurgence of the character who was originally on a Netflix series called Daredevil. I know, this is all new information for most of you. But yeah, Disney brought him back, um, and we even have the Kingpin in the mix again, who was fantastically portrayed the last time around. I'm excited to see him return. We have the Punisher in this. Really, all the fan favorites are there. I sure hope Foggy and Karen return, because it was really fun watching them cry at literally every scene they were in. Truth be told, though, that was a good series, the, the two seasons that I watched. I really enjoyed. I'm definitely going to be watching that one, and I'll probably cover it episode to episode here. Next up is Ironheart, a.k.a. STRONG FEMALE IRON MAN! And for a Disney Plus TV series, it's about time. Cards on the table, Wakanda Forever I thought was terrible. And this is coming from someone that really liked Black Panther. Didn't really care for anything Wakanda Forever had to offer, and a big part of that was Ironheart. That character felt incredibly forced into the movie, I didn't buy really any of this backstory going on. She somehow had a giant secret hangar full of tech. I don't know how she was funding this. Like, they just didn't go into anything. So part of me is like, yeah, I'm a little interested in this live action series. And another part of me is like, nah, I don't really care about this at all. But I will give it a shot. And maybe it'll win me over. It's possible. August 6th, we got Eyes of Wakanda. Back to back Wakanda stuff going on. Got that panther in me going back to back. We're going back to back. This is another crappy cell shaded show. I don't need to say anything else. Actually, the other two things they featured were also that cell shaded look. You have What If and there's Marvel Zombies. Now, I was a little confused on this one. I only watched a little bit of season one of What If. I don't know if the zombies thing is part of that show or it's a spinoff because I do recall a zombie thing being in an episode. Are we doing a Call of Duty thing here where it gets a zombie mode and then the zombie mode becomes a game? It's hard to know. It's really, and I could look this up, but. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Last and I don't know if it's least is Wonder Man, a comic book comedy. Last and possibly least, it's hard to know because I know absolutely nothing about this character, Wonder Man. Looks like it's going to be a superhero comedy. I saw Ben Kingsley's returning, reprising his role that he had in Iron Man 3 in a twist that everybody absolutely loved and no one hated. He's coming back as an acting coach or a director or something. They showed very little off from Wonder Man. It piqued my interest. I'll give it a watch, mainly because I have absolutely nothing better to do with my time. But also, why the hell not? Let's just give it a go and see how it shakes out. And during the trailer, we get little glimpses of Deadpool and Wolverine. That's coming to the platform as well. We all love Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, that's going to be a big seller in 2025 to probably get a couple more people subscribing to that stupid platform. And so there you have it. A solid trailer teasing some potentially good shows. 
nothing amazing by any means. None of these shows are screaming like, oh my God, I can't wait to watch this week to week. But nothing's like completely repelling me outside of maybe that cell shaded look that I just do not really enjoy. Daredevil, definitely the one I'm the most interested in. I'll give Ironheart a chance. And maybe Wonder Man will be a big smashing hit too. Let's hope they learn some lessons over there at Disney Marvel. Because overall, the TV shows on Disney Plus have been pretty abysmal. The exclusive streaming movies like Hocus Pocus 2, Home Alone 6, or whatever the hell that was, Disenchanted, all these movies have a cheapness to them, and the TV shows, for the most part, kind of feel that way as well. Now, that doesn't mean they're all bad. I thought Loki was solid. I liked WandaVision, but those are like diamonds in the rough. I want to hear from you though, did you dig this? Are you excited for any of this stuff in the MCU? Or are you just watching this stuff through the eyes of someone like me and other people online, watching the ship slowly sink? Let me know, leave a comment below. Again, I'd appreciate it a sub if you wouldn't mind. I post movie content, commentary, reviews every single week. Would love to have more eyes on it. And if you've really enjoyed my content for a while, maybe years, and you're looking for a way to support the channel, this is a one-man band. It does take a lot of work to keep it going. Become a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Tons of exclusive content over there every single month. I'm telling you, it's worth the investment. I'm worth the investment. And I would appreciate it. Take care.